Okay, so one of the stitches that you're going to be doing is the up and down stitch. And the up and down stitch gets very difficult when you're dealing with multiple layers of wadding, like shoulder pads, or even multiple layers of fabric. And the reason is the following. So let's say you want to put your needle in and come out of this hole. So you go ahead and do that. And you're like, yes. But when you look from the side, you see that your needle is severely on an angle. So there's a problem here. Now, to fix this and to practice this, what you need to do is you need to become aware of how you're holding the needle and what angle the needle is at. And a good practice to do this is the following. You're going to take a sponge or a shoulder pad or any thick wadding and you're going to look at it from the above. And you're going to just put your needle into the material and you're just going to go straight down. Like so. So now, if we look, you can see that the needle is kind of like square and 90 degrees to the edge of the shoulder pad. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to mark the point where the, ch where the needle is coming out. Like so. Once we've marked it, we're going to now become very aware of the angle of the needle. So, the first thing we need to do is to hold this horizontally so that it's parallel to the board. We also need to hold our hands so that the back of our hands is parallel to the board and that the needle is held not like this, not like this, but straight 90 degrees. At least what we think is 90 degrees. So suppose you're holding the needle like that and you go underneath it and you're pushing the needle through. What you're then going to do is you're going to look at it and see how close you are to your stitch. So as we've been holding it like that, it meant that we have to, had to go farther back than our point here because our needle was here. So what if we hold our needle slightly more away from ourselves and try again? So again, going through this, and now we're just ahead. So now what we have done is we started like we we started like this, then we went a bit like this. And what we now need to do is to again slightly adjust that. So let's hope that this one is closer to what we have in mind. Well, it's still a bit more forward. So whatever you do and whatever your hand position is, you're going to adjust your hand so many times until you can go into the same point again and again and again. So this is getting pretty close. So the idea of the exercise is that you become highly aware of the angle uh, of both the material that you're holding and your hands. So by the time you've performed this practice and you've finished, you kind of like end up pretty much in the middle uh, of your cross there. And that's the exercise of the up and down stitch. Definitely worth doing because it gives you more awareness about how you're holding your hands and it makes your hands work more consistent. Now you know how to practice the up and down stitch. The whole purpose of this exercise is to build up your muscle memory. When you're sewing up and down through a thick layer, let's say the edge of a shoulder pad, you want the stitches underneath, which you're not seeing, to be as neat and consistent as the stitches on top. And this exercise is going to help you with that.